Did you hire them to get a ticket? Yeah, I got two tickets, so I don't want to see any more tears from you. Okay, thanks. You're the best. I actually wanted to go to the preview with you all along. And thanks, you two. Now we can go to the preview. Yay! Let's go. I need to go home and decide what to wear. Hey, wait up. Calm down. Case complete. What was, was my payment? Don't laugh, but was a Digimon metal and plastic model. You two? Haha. <laughs> Those two are so alike. I know that payment was nowhere near enough for our, all our hard work, but it's good to do stuff like this sometimes. <laughs> Welcome back. Good work with the case. Thanks. I heard you helped. That girl was so happy to get a ticket. I just did it for the payment. She left a comment saying she'll bring Wooper later. I can't wait. By the way, I poured you some juice. What's with the face? Can't I reward you after a hard day's work? I'm getting Wooper thanks to you. Here, you have some too. Thanks, Erica. Oh. No, it's nothing. It's not often I see Erica pour a drink for someone. Drink up. Wonder how bad it tastes like. It's so sweet. It's nice, but it's so sweet. Too sweet. <laughs> it's like the inside of my mouth has been coated with syrup. Is this even safe to drink? Ouch. I suddenly felt an extraordinary excruciating pain in every single one of my teeth. Could it be just so sweet that it instantly gave me some cavities in all my mouth? My teeth? No. I was so proud of not having a single cavity. I don't want cavities. No! Hey, snap out of it. It looks like the sweetness made me pass out. How rude do you have to be to collapse after drinking juice that someone made for you? That's right, I made it. Don't look so surprised. I have no been known to do thoughtful things from time to time. It was sweet, right? She was has an unusual sweet tooth. The juice they sell is never sweet enough. That's why I always make my own in the cafe drink in the drug cafe's drink corner. I put lots of glucose in it. Glucose is the only fuel the brain can use. I know it's very sweet, but it's good once you get it used to it. How about another glass? You don't have to look so that disgusted. It may be too a little too sweet. But I always try to get the flavor balance just right. My brother always enjoys it. See, he finished the whole glass in one go. I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. I'm your bro big brother after all. Ryuji. See, and Eric, smile. Ryuji looked so happy and proud. But his knees were shaking like crazy. Where 
already take that. Can you see if she actually got it? The whooper? I know, look. Well, we don't really even know what it's supposed to look like. together for a job that's pretty extravagant. Who's the client? <sighs> the aquamarine in aquarium <laughs> in Ikebukuro. <laughs> so the client is a fish? Of course not. It's the aquarium manager. It's It's a theft case. It seems some thieves have been breaking in. Too bad. It just sounds like an ordinary case. But theft? Surely that's more of a police matter. The police have passed on this c on the case to us. Yeah, so it's not just an ordinary case? I see you're all here. Thanks for agreeing to this. Let me introduce the client. This is Mr. Mizushita, manager of the Ikebuku Aquarium. <laughs> Keep in mind that everything we discussed must be kept absolutely confidential. Then I'll explain the situation. Fish have been going missing from our tanks every night for some time now. Because of the cunning methods m employed by the thieves, it took us more than a month to notice that anything was wrong. Month? Wow. Hang on a sec. Can I ask you something first? Guess what? What fish have been stolen? For starters, sea bream. Flounders and seahorses. Wow, maybe the thieves want to start their own aquarium. This is no laughing matter. We, you should take it more seriously. Hey, you laugh at, and he gets mad at me. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what else was stolen? Some sharks. I thought sharks were huge. How could they steal them? The sharks in our aquarium are a small species. They're only about 30 centimeters long. I never knew there were small sharks. They don't sound very scary. Clownfish, conger eels, jellyfish, sardines, spider crabs, and even penguins and sea otters have been stolen have also been stolen wow. that many let me see what else what about cod were any cod stolen so no we don't have cod in the aquarium oh I see Erica the issue isn't what was stolen how could you not notice all those missing animals for a whole month exactly. er well the thieves, they employ very cunning methods. Uh, yeah, right. Are you sure it's not because you old geezers aren't up for the job? I don't know what to say to that. Show some respect to your elders. Hackers rely on information to do their job, so you should listen to everything the client has to say. Isn't that right, AEG? That's right. Sorry for the interruption. Please continue. 
We don't know why, but the thieves return always return the animals to where they belong after a few hours. What the? So the exhibits are stolen during the night and returned before we open the next day. More specifically, they're usually returned after about an hour. That's why we didn't notice it for over a month. I can see why. How? Pattern me? Pardon me? She means how did you eventually notice that was going on? Oh, I see. Unless something happens, the CCTV camera footage is wiped every month without being watched. A member of our staff noticed that what was happening while erasing the footage, it showed some masked men carrying away the tanks at lightning speed. Then they returned in about an hour and put them back in exactly the same place, right down to the minute meter. That sure is strange. Why would they do such a thing? That's what makes this case so bizarre. They risk being caught just to return to what they took. Isn't it the police's job to investigate this? Ordinarily, yes, but my superiors have been at Lodger heads, logger heads about how to handle it. I'll spare you the details, but this case isn't technically classified as theft. Legally, theft is the intention to permanently deprive the owner of property. If that can't be proven, it can't be considered theft. The perpetrator's behavior of always returning the exhibits means that the owner isn't permanently deprived of his property. Of course, if we knew who they were, are, we could nail them for trespassing on private property, but trespassing cases aren't a high priority. My superiors have decided that we can't spare the resources to investigate this case right now. Come off it. That just sounds like an excuse for being lazy. That's a bit of an exaggeration. Detective Mata Yoshi can't be everywhere at once. It's okay, Ryuji. I've got a thick skin. That why I've resorted to bringing Mr. Mizushita here to meet with you in secret. The aquarium is actually scheduled to undergo a major renovation soon. If word of this gets out, we might end up losing our grant and might even have to shut down permanently. I suppose it would be risky to give a grant to an aquarium where thieves can come and go at will. The CCTV footage is evidence of trespassing. If you can find out who they are, I'll arrest them. Please tell us everything else you know. Then we'll decide whether or not to take it to take the case. The thieves always make their move during gaps in the security guards patrol schedule. Of course we change the routes up and turn over times every day. Even so, they always know the times when there are no when there are the fewest guards. How about security? Do you have motion sensors or infrared beams? The thieves display disable our security system so the alarm never goes off. Is it some crappy old security system? Far from it, it's brand new. One of the thieves must be a highly skilled hacker. I heard there are lots of top-notch hackers in Eden. You don't suspect us, do you? Of course not. Matayoshi told me about all of you. 
He said you wouldn't be capable of something like this. How nice of him to say that. I didn't mean that. I just meant you wouldn't be able, capable of committing a crime like that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be asking for your help. Isn't that right, Mr. Mizushita? Sorry, I phrased that badly. I would never- I would really like Hoodie to uncover the truth and catch the culprits. So, what's it gonna be? I think we should take the case. Then let's take it. I'm a little curious to find out exactly what's going on. I knew you'd take it. Thanks. Thank you. Let me just check two things. Every single stolen exhibit has was returned, right? Yes, I checked with our keeper. Nothing is missing. And finally, was anything added? Added? Please check for unfamiliar decorations, stones, or anything else. I will. What should I do if I find something? Contact us straight away. Make sure you don't touch it. Understood. Thanks again. Then I'll leave it to you. Okay, let's go over the case. Every night a group of masked men evade the security guards and steal one of the aquarium's exhibits. Then they come back and return it soon after. I see. What do you mean? Do you know who they are? No idea. How about you, new boy? Maybe the criminals love fish? It's not enough to just look at them. They want to swim with them? Then why go to the trouble of returning them? Maybe they realized they're too difficult to keep? You have to control the water temperature, water quality, and stuff like that. It's difficult even for a professional. So the next day they steal different fish within an hour and realize they're also difficult to keep and then return them and repeat that 30 times? They'd have to be really stupid. Or there's something we're missing. In any case, we need more clues. Angry. Hang on a sec. I've connected to the aquarium server. I'll take a look t at the security system logs. Found something? It looks like the thieves accessed it via cyberspace. They deleted the logs, but that's not enough to stop me. They've been careful, but not careful enough. There are still traces of the deleted logs. They should do it. Damn, they've covered their tracks. Chitose, forward the data to me. I think I know how to uncover their route. Okay, you take things from here. Once we know where they accessed the server from, Kisuke and I will hack them. That sound good to you? I've got the address. Aquarium back door. Let's go. Did she say that Ryuji to Ryuji? I'm sure she did. She said, be careful. Thank you. 
trapezoid. How do you calculate a, a trapezoid? What? How do you calculate for a trapezoid? Base times height? Trapezoid. I don't remember. Me neither. What is a trapezoid? Oh, crap. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Which one? Just going top plus bottom times height, base times height. Let's just do that. One. Hmm. Which one? <laughs> just go for whichever. Why are you going back in there? I told you to go closer. Why did you leave? Oh, the Gigi left? The, oh, I could have done yeah. that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Hey, you're the one that always plays this item. But you watch me. Server, yeah. Mm -hmm. Form expansion thingy. That's cool. Are you gonna keep both the sisters in? Yeah. No. No. 
it's like an invisible wall. Yeah. You don't see me. Escape. I don't really feel like back between them. Look, there's someone there. Is it a girl? Welcome to my aquarium. My aquarium? I'm Minamo Taki Su. I'm surprised you found this place. Are you the police? Uh, we're like detectives. It doesn't matter who you are. You've got nothing on me. Can we ask you some questions? What is this place? What are you doing here? As you've come as all this way, I've give, I'll give you a special tour of my aquarium. She didn't answer my either of my questions. Have you noticed? This place looks exactly like Ikebukuro Aquarium. But it's digital, right? Observant. It's a perfect digital copy of the aquarium's building facilities and animals. It's almost complete. Wow, she's a little empty. I see. So you didn't did it to recreate this place, but did you really need to resort to theft? You can find lots of similar data for fish and buildings on the net. You don't get it. Similar isn't good enough. It has to be a perfect reproduction. The building and decor can be recreated from photos. But how the animal look and move can't be scanned from ordinary photos or videos. They have some very f rare fish. There's no information anywhere from about the types of tanks and equipment they use. And if it, it's not as if I could just go up to them and ask to borrow their precious fish and equipment, right? I see. So you steal them, copy them, and then re return them? Still? Please don't use that word. I just borrowed them and scanned them for, with a 3D scanner. No one could access me, accuse me of stealing. So it seems, but you are suspected of trespassing on private property. I hate that. In the virtual world, people are free to go anywhere they like. The real world is so full of restrictions. Oh, Although you're not quite right, I didn't actually trespass. What do you mean? Breaking into the aquarium, finding the exhibit, removing it, and then returning it safe and sound all within a short space of time? I hired a team of international super thieves. They didn't leave any evidence and I haven't committed any crime. Did you hire someone to do the hacking as well? I asked a Digimon and a hacker to help with that. Of course, I didn't do anything myself and any evidence is long gone by now. The most difficult part of was scanning everything perfectly in sh the short time between acquiring the exhibits and returning them. I bought an entire studio for that. Wow, she is so it's just a very impressive hobby. Expensive. Huh? Expensive. It takes more than money. It, I had to be smart too. That's why you'll never pin anything on me. I haven't caused anyone any trouble, even you. Hmm. And look, this place is almost finished, my own private aquarium. Well, I have to hand it to you. This place certainly looks beautiful. Thank you. That makes me so glad to hear. 
then doesn't sit right with me. It's also the ugliest thing I've ever seen in a sense. Ugly? What do you mean? Yeah, you spent a lot of money, but you didn't get your hands dirty. You got other people to do it for you. So much for the perfect crime. What? The law can't bring you to justice, but unluckily for you, we aren't the law, we're hackers. We'll make sure you're punished. This aquarium will never be completed. Hmm. That's too bad. Looks like I'm going to have to dispatch my first visitors. I knew she seemed too willing to talk. She never intended to let us leave here.